Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to correct some of the UVW mapping issues we have with our cube. So let's select the outer frame, right click, and select hide unselected. And so we would, what we need to do is select the polygons that are not correct and apply separate mapping to them from these which are correct. So let's add an edit poly modifier to the top of the stack and that will allow us to enter polygon mode and select polygons that lie along the same axis. All of these lie on the x-axis as you can see. And then we're going to apply a separate UVW map for those. And it can be a planar map. But before we do that, actually let's undo that real quick. I want to show you that I can turn off this shading by pushing F2 on the keyboard. And what that does is that allows me to see uh, the map a little, the texture a little better, so it helps me um, do the mapping properly. Okay, so I'm going to select Y and X, and you can see that that pretty much fixed it. Very easy. All right, and let's add another edit poly modifier to the top of the stack. And then we're going to enter polygon mode and select all the polygons that lie on the Y axis. And then we're going to add a UVW map here. And select Y. Now these as you can see, need to be rotated. So we're going to open up the modifier, select the gizmo, turn on angle snaps, get the rotate tool, and we're going to rotate that 90 degrees. You can see that pretty well fixed that too. Now notice these and these are exactly the same. I don't really want that. So I'm going to, uh, while I have the gizmo selected, let me get my move tool. I'm going to move that up a little bit until I get a new board. Make sure that there's no seam there. And if you see a seam, then you can just um, just uh, adjust the height a little bit of the gizmo. All right, let's exit gizmo and Put another edit poly at the top of the stack and we need to fix these. Enter polygon mode. And UVW map. These are on the Z axis, but they need to be rotated. So open up the UVW map, select the gizmo, Get the rotate tool, turn on angle snaps, and rotate 90 degrees that way. And I think that looks just fine. Okay, now we're going to exit gizmo mode, and then we're going to add one more edit poly to the top of the stack. Give it one last check, and then we're going to collapse all of this permanently apply all of that by converting this to an editable poly. And let's right click on hide all and you can see that we're starting to get a pretty good looking crate. Now the next thing we need to do is these boards and I don't really want to do all of them. So what I might do is um, just do one and then we'll adjust the texture. So let's select all of the other ones and delete them. And let's just concentrate on doing one. Select it, right click, hide unselected. Okay, so <clears throat> we need to add UVW mapping to this. It doesn't have any. So um, I already know that I'm gonna have a problem here. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter polygon mode. And I'm going to select these two polygons 
and I'm going to add a UVW mat to them. Now this map needs to be rotated, but not 90 degrees, so I'm going to turn off angle snaps, and I'm going to open up the modifier, grab the gizmo, and I'm going to rotate it so that it lines up with the angle of my board. I also don't want a seam to be here, so I'm going to get my move tool, and I want to be able to move this this way. Right now my gizmo only allows me to move it up and down and left and right. So I'm going to switch coordinate systems. I'm going to go up here to where it says view and I'm going to change to local. And you can see now that it's lined up with the orientation or the rotation of the gizmo. So I'm going to grab the x-axis and move it like so. Now this gives us an opportunity. This is how we're going to make each board look different as well, by the way. So let's exit gizmo mode. Open up the edit, I'm sorry, add another edit poly. And we're going to select these polygons and these polygons and apply a UVW map to them. And this one needs to be in the this axis, but it needs to be rotated a little bit. So let's open up the gizmo and make sure angle snaps are turned off this time. And we're going to rotate it so that it lines up with the board. And we can just leave it like that. Let's close these, add one more edit poly to the top of the stack, and then we can delete these polygons because we really don't need them. So I'm going to leave this uh, like it is because I want to adjust, be able to adjust the texture for each one of these uh, later on. I want to be able to at least get back to this one. Okay, so uh, we're going to right click, unhide all, and uh, we're going to leave this stack intact. And when we come back, we're going to copy these and adjust the textures. And I'll see you then.